Hello and welcome to Looky Looky Loo Crafts. I'm Candice and I'm here today with uh, nothing to do. Christmas is over. I'm trying to turn on my timer, guys. It's like, oh, I forgot how, but now I got it. Christmas is over, but we still got some winter. So, winter crafting. Yeah, but, ooh, guess what? I really don't have anything for winter crafting outside of Christmas. So, what to do? And then that's the question. Okay, there's Valentine's Day, but, you know, I haven't been a sweetie since 2004. So, yeah, I haven't been a sweetie or had a sweetie. So, yeah, I'm not really into Valentine's Day. My son just left. I'm so sad. But not really. But kind of so. You know how that is. <laughs> oh. So, I can get back to whatever weird old routine I had. So, I don't want to do any more Christmas crafting right now. Even though I want to uh, make me a Christmas journal for my Christmas cards. Or... I don't know, a bunch of folded up papers that are put together somehow. I don't even know if you'd call it a journal. I've seen some flippy things that they're not called journals. That might be cool. But, uh, yeah, it's nothing to do with what anybody else is doing right now. So, I want to follow along. Turn it down to Christmas. I do have, oh, where are you? Over here. My, uh, my Santa that I want to put in my sewing book. Uh, that's Christmassy. And uh, I thought maybe I'd set that up for me to get to whenever I get to it. Now my desk, y'all, I, I did not get done what I wanted done. And uh, my son just was not uh, into helping me clear off my, my shelf. And, you know, dusting everything, putting everything away, or packing it away, or, or really moving to a new location ain't an option because I ain't got much room. But anyway, so I didn't get my desk uh, the way I wanted it. But I did get it put back to the way it was somewhat. The uh, the little bed table that I had, uh, this was not going to work. Um, again, you know, my son was home, but uh, for some reason he was a busy boy. He had plenty to do that didn't involve work. <laughs> Go figure! Can't figure that boy out. Okay, so I wanted to put my Santa Claus. Um, I don't think those are the right ones. But I, like a dummy, was using these brown ones. Which does not make me a dummy. But the dummy part was that when he quit uh, his mechanics jobs, he brought a big giant tool chest in my house for me to keep. And uh, so I'm looking at that thing going, well, what am I going to do with it? And I had just tore up this uh, piece of fabric with the dark brown on it. The dark brown fabric, it was a sheet. And uh, I only had a little piece off the end of it. But I thought, well, I'll just cover that monstrosity with this cloth, right? Yeah. So that's what I did. And so now I... I I can't get it. And I could steer, tear some strips off, but that would make it look awful funny. I mean, <laughs> so, thinking, thinking, thinking what to do, what to do. Because I did want all my pages to kind of sort of match. And where are, are all my pages? They're supposed to be in this book. Well, there's two. There's three. There's four. 
Surely I got more than four pages done. Or maybe I've just been slacking. Look, I got this one. One over there and one over there. Oh, means I need a, something here to cover the back of that. Well, wait a minute. Anyways, I'm confused on, on what I'm doing to make my little couch picture. And I only got these two pieces, and I don't think they're the right size. But I need to put my Santa on something. So I'm trying to put it on here. Before my Santa gets destroyed. So I think this will have to be a double page. And I think that will work. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I think I had some more pages. I'm going to have to go back and watch my own videos to see what I've done with my stuff. I thought I had them all in this box, but I don't. I am a 100% disorganized person now. Now, I didn't start out with this. I Look how crooked this thing is. But, you know, okay. It's a piece of paper that I got right now, and it's a practice paper. So this is just not in embroidery uh, paper. It's paper, carbon paper. It's not embroidery carbon paper. Carbon paper is what I'm trying to say. So it may ink up my whole sheet. I don't know. But I'm going to try it because I don't have a project. Now, I think I need to go okay if I was going to fold it in half I would want my Santa kind of in the middle to fold in half like that uh -huh. well I guess that's what I'm going to do guys and now I'm going to trace over my Santa and see if I can get that ink to go through and stick to my cloth. So, you're doing it with me. If I can find my pencil. Here's the pencil. Pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener. Pencil sharpener. Uh, <laughs> my stuff runs away, y'all. <laughs> okay. Uh, and all the disarray, all my boxes got moved, and I've just been stuffing stuff here and there to have a place to put it, but not for it to be in its right place. There's my eraser. That's good to have. I did find my uh, thingy. Oh, look, my breathing thing. Boy, I've been looking for you. Yeah, we're going to keep that. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, what was I looking for? Uh, pencil sharp. Pencil sharp. I'm going to have to clean out my boxes. And, uh, find my pencil sharp. Okay. Not in those. So I ain't quite got set up just right. Okay. I'm going to stand up, which I did not want to do. I tell you, it's been raining here Ooh, four or five days. Just the slow drizzle, misery rain. You know, a gray day rain. Y'all know what that is. And it's just got my body all stoved up. Huh, okay. Where's the pencil sharpener, guys? What have I done with it? Well, it's not there. Oh. Okay. Okay, don't fall. They're not supposed to fall. Pencil sharpener. Okay. 
Not in there. Well, okay. The pencil sharpener is lost. Temporarily lost. So we will have to make do without it. But still, my question was, what can I do that's not wintry or Valentine's-y that is still kind of season appropriate? I guess I'll do it without my pencil. Sharpener. Okay. So, you're just keeping me company while I doodle. And, because uh, I, ha I have no idea what I'm doing. This may not work at all. It was just my idea. Whoops. Of course, I have no, no plan. So, yeah, those kinds of ideas really don't usually work out well. to remember where I drew and where I didn't. Okay, let me hold that. Let's see if it's going through. Oh, I think it's going to work, guys. I think it's going to work. Isn't that awesome? I think it is. I think that's awesome. If it works, if I get ink all over everything, that wouldn't be too awesome. But I think it's going to work. And then I will go over it with my black thread that Cindy sent me. And, uh, Fill in the inside with color thread. I do realize I, I'm not doing this with any kind of uh, <laughs> pattern. I'm just uh, a little bit here and a little bit there. Okay, I need to start from finish in one area. I do know how to trace y'all. I, I normally do a pretty good job. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm a little lost. I don't know if that happens to y'all, but when things are not normal for a while, and then you try to get back to normal, it takes a little time. When things were not normal while Mitchell was here, because I'm used to just being here by myself with my dogs. I am in no way complaining that my son is here. I really enjoy him being here. But what I'm saying is, uh, now I've got to get back to being by myself. And back to whatever little routine I had. Which was working for me. I mean, I, I don't have a really hard, hard time being alone. Especially since I started YouTube, because I feel like I got friends to talk to. And instead of, you know, just talking to the dogs all the time, I am making videos, so, and that requires talking. So, yeah, I don't feel like I'm so alone. But I am happy to be able to get things kind of back to normal. Or what is my normal? Which some would say probably isn't good because I don't do a whole lot. Well, I can't do a whole lot. I mean, my body just don't let me. I get seeing his eyebrows. Can't leave him without his eyebrows. Get his eyes in there. So yeah, but I'm thinking of some, what kind of project could I do? I have been watching some ladies uh, doing some sewing, but you can only watch that so much because, you know, 
sewing really ain't exciting. Now the end product, the end product it can be exciting. But just sewing itself, you know, is not really that thrilling. So I, I can take it, you know, in smaller doses. Oh, there we go. There's, maybe I should put 20 minutes on that thing. Or 30 minutes. I don't know what my maximum time limit is. I got a shirt sleeve. You got your shirt sleeve? I'm going to put one over there. I gave my shirt sleeve because I made a mistake and I had to figure out how to cover up my boo boo. So I, I gave him a shirt sleeve. And that way, this, this boo boo coming out of his sleeve looks like a shirt in, in my imaginary world. Okay, let's get this show on the road here. I think this is going to work better for me. Uh-oh, see I went offline. And that's the thing with the carter paper. If you make a boo-boo, it's going to show up. I'm covered up with thread or something, maybe. Alright, let's see how I did. Let's see how I did. Oh, don't move, don't move. Don't move. That's pretty good. I'm missing a line on his beard. I think it's going to be all right. I'm missing a little down here. Uh, okay, okay. I'll put it back, put it back. Kind of missing this. I wonder if under what I could see. Missing that. Do this part. I think I got that. I don't know what this line is, but I want to go over it. Okay. Okay, I did all that. I think I got it. I got this end. I see. Oh, y'all can probably see this end better. Okay, but this this is covered up by the oh uh, reindeer. This part right here. Let me put the reindeer thing in. Give his ear. Get this horn. This one. Alright, I've got to get this ear. This ear's looking a little funky. I don't know what I got going there, but we're going with it because it's on there. So when I get this done, I can stitch this, be stitching on it. While I'm trying to think up some kind of project that I could do, I usually get my inspiration from YouTube and all the wonderful ladies that do crafts. <coughs> we're, kind of, we're currently doing stuff that uh, I don't think I can do. I hope I didn't move my paper. If you move it just a little bit, sometimes it messes everything up. I'll come up over here. Get around his nose.
some kind of color loopage. Another horn. These are Rudolph's uh, children, not Rudolph. They look a little young to me to be Rudolph. Rudolph should be an old old deer by now. And we got a leg. And these chest markings. Another leg. One deer is almost done. didn't take quite so long. I did a lot of talking before I started drawing. Or sketching, not sketching. Tracing, 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 I'm tracing. Did I get this? I don't remember, so we're going to do it again. If I would go in some kind of uh, order, I could remember where I've been and where I hadn't been. But I'm doing haphazard. Did I do this leg? I think I did this leg. Okay, this is his leg. Somebody else's leg hair. Just gonna have to go with it. You you go off of your line at this point. You're just you're stuck. You're stuck with what you're doing. Did I just say that? I maybe did. Just remember, this ain't for you know forever. It's not gonna go in a museum. It's just. Oh, my mama doodle. Not supposed to last forever. Well, maybe if I ever get grandchildren, it'll be something that they would look back at and be amazed that their grandma done such a thing. Versus the way it's looking, I ain't getting no grandchildren. I don't know, this generation would rather play video games than to go out and spend time in real life together. They do it online. Hard to get grandbabies online. <laughs> You'll have to make me some digital grandbabies, I guess. Dang. That's funny. Got it too close to the edge. Dang it. I got that one little Rudolph. And I had all this room too. Well, that's what you get for being in a funky mood. You lose a nose. Okay, so I had something going on back here. This is a practice piece, anyways. I mean, if it came out there, I'd use it. But this is me trying to get in the mood for something, anything. Okay. Does that look a little funny right there? Well, I could just put a little line. But what is this? 
Um, actually, here it is. That's this one for you. Oh, that's part of his tail. Okay. Okay. I just sketch it in. Now, that'll help. And this is part of the ski over here. I think. Okay. Now, well, that one looks a little funny, but that's all right. He'll do. Okay. Go around to his mouth again. I could just draw it in one of my pencils. Why am I just drawing it in one of my pencils? Alright, that looks a little funny. Well, he's got a beak. We'll figure that out. Totally not in the way. Got moved a little bit, that's the problem. Okay, but I do think it's pretty good and I think it's gonna work. Because it didn't get ink all up here and where I had my hands and and stuff like that. And what I'm missing is the reins. That you know come from Santa's hands. And I'm missing an eye. Okay. I'll put it back. See if I can get close. Keep him down. All right. Because even if I don't use all of this one piece, I could use part of it. See if I can get my deer lined up. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I'm just going to draw his loops. I'll draw the reins. And this, and hope they land in the right place. Sometimes you do the whole thing, and you find out you were a dummy. Okay, I forgot his eye over here, so let's give him an eye. Let's hope it's in the right place. I don't know. Did I give him a nose? <coughs> Sorry, sorry. I'm in an itchy throat. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. No. Got some kind of something going on. <laughs> okay. So this is his eye here, so I'm gonna bring it up a little. Give him a people. Okay, Santa's got a black eye. He was speeding, he ran into a building, and he got himself a black eye. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Okay, am I missing something right here? Yeah, I'm missing one. That one. So, and 
just go then. Okay. I should go down like that. There we go. There we go. Okay. There's my black eyed Santa. <laughs> my black eyed Santa. Yeah. So, there's something missing down here. What's missing? No, I ain't supposed to see nothing. You're supposed to see that little bit. You ain't supposed to see none of it. Except this little thing right here. So you're supposed to see. You got his belt. This has to go all the way up to his hand. There we go. This little flipper like thing. That's his hand. And this is his black eye. <laughs> There we go. Okay. How's that looking, y'all? Y'all can tell me. Yeah, y'all can tell me. Y'all can tell me if it's terrible. <laughs> it'll be it'll be a very interesting uh, piece just to play with. Okay, that's pretty good, except for this Rudolph snout. So now I know when I when I figure out how to get my brown cloth off of the tool chest that I have my microwave sitting on top of, then I I will have my cloth to finish. Okay, so am I missing something here? Two. It goes up into this curly cue. Okay, goes up there. This one goes down. This one, this, this, this line right here. There. Now that made the whole thing work. <laughs> that solved all the problems there. You won't even notice that black eye or that, you know, chewed up spout. <laughs> Snout, not spout. He ain't got a spout. Well, he might have a spout. <laughs> <laughs> you just never know. There we go. All right, guys. That's the plan for my Santa. If I ever get my other cloth. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> I did want all the pages to be the same color. Well, I may just have to make a new plan and, and settle for different colors because it's not like I have any shortage of cloth. I got plenty of cloth. So, yes. Okay, I'm having one of them days, guys. Thank you for coming, spending a little time with me. I got to fix that snout. Yeah. And uh, keeping me company while my son has just left and I'm here all by myself. Me and the doggies who they only want to snooze. <laughs> there we go. I made it worse. How about that? Mm -hmm. Okay. That ain't too bad. How you doing? Yeah. You know, just not have that reindeer. And you know, just have one Rudolph. <laughs> make it work. Make it work. That's what guys are doing. So make it work, right? Maybe I'll put a snowflake over his nose and nobody will ever know it's missing. <laughs> okay, I'm hilarious. Okay. Thanks for coming, guys. Spending time with me. And uh, I hope you were doing something very constructive and, and brilliant. Why? I was jacking on here being, being lost. So, uh, yeah, thank you. And uh, as always, do as Lord will have you to do. And I will see you on my next video. Alright, bye-bye now.